Hey YouTube, it's Chris, K2CJB with K2CJB Radio. Welcome back to the channel. This video, we're gonna take a look at the Innovato ham clock. Um, it's actually, I got the ham clock bundle and it uses the Innovato computer, which is a small, very small computer. And it's a dedicated, I'm gonna call it a device. <laughs> you could call it a gadget. It's one of those things that it just has a bunch of information that you can put up on a display. Ham shacks have used things like this for years. Heath Kit made a lot of money with those little station monitors that had clocks and other little gadgets built into one box. So this thing is similar to that. It's got a clock. It's got um, other online data that you can have right, right in front of you in your shack at all times. I discovered this watching uh, Jim Heath's channel, W6LG. Um, great channel and uh, I picked up a lot of things from him and this is he he got one of these things and tested it out and uh, so I took the plunge and ordered one for myself so it comes shipped to you like this in a little postal envelope so um, I haven't opened it yet I won't bore you with me opening the package we'll just open it up and see what comes inside inside the package you get the Innovato computer itself you get a little mini keyboard if you get the bundle which is what I ordered and you get a USB power supply for the computer. I've unpackaged everything. Here's the computer. Here's the little keyboard that you get with the bundle. You get a cable, a very short cable, that powers the keyboard. This is the wall wart that was packed inside the box for this, for the computer. This came separate uh, with a USB cable. And you also get an HDMI cable. Taking it out of the box, it takes a few steps to put this thing together. And the first thing I will tell you is when you're looking at the instructions for that little keyboard, the instructions are very, very, very fine print. So good luck reading them. Inside the keyboard's battery compartment is the lithium ion battery. But there was also a small little USB dongle in here. That's important. This is a wireless device. So to get, the US, get this keyboard to work with the little computer, you have to plug the dongle into a USB port. So this little dongle here is tucked away inside the battery compartment of the keyboard. Gotta plug that in. You also wanna plug this in with that short little cable into that little wall wart to charge this for about 15 minutes before you use it. The power switch is right here on the side. Turn it on, the keyboard lights up. Now we should be good to go. When you first power the unit up, the screen comes up this way, and the question is asked, do you want to use the Quadra as a dedicated full-screen ham clock on a TV or monitor? And, of course, in this case, we want to say yes to that. So on the keyboard, using the little finger pad that's on the keyboard, we hit yes. Okay, we want to make sure it's connected to the Internet before continuing. That's all the way up here at the top. So you want to connect it to our Wi-Fi. We'll go ahead and type in the password and success. So now let's go to continue. Yes, I think we want to say yes to that. And it's just asking if we want to resize the Quadra screen to match ham clock. Yes. After you click done, ham clock will run and automatically on boot. Okay, that's really what we want, right? Okay, click anywhere to set up. Oh, there we go. Okay, now we're going to enter our call sign first. It says no call up here. You need to enter your latitude and longitude. And if you don't know what that is offhand, not many people do, go to your qrz.com page and it's on there. You can only go to three digits here. So you just have to do a quick rounding thing, but the grid came up correct. So, so far, so good. Looks like we're set up right here. So now we're gonna go on to the next page. Let's go to page two, cluster. Oh, and I guess, does that mean the DX cluster? I'm going to guess that means, uh-huh, okay. I think I have the DX cluster info in my Ham Radio Deluxe log. Let me take a look. I poked around my Ham Radio Deluxe uh, log book where I have a DX cluster set up and I found a host and I found the port. There was no login or anything else. So I'm just going to take a chance and say we've got this right. Um, I think I'll come back to this if I want to do something with that. Let's see if this works. Hmm. All right, rig control, FL rig. No, I'm not going to do any of that stuff with this. No, no. Okay. 
Map center longitude. Hmm. 99 west. Well, I guess we could start with that. Okay, and here's the um, date order. I don't know if it goes and finds it anywhere. I guess we'll find that out too, right? Um, okay, I'm going to... Uh, Okay, and that's if I want to set certain colors. And I don't really, I'm just going to leave the default colors in for now. We hit done. And let's see what happens. Okay. It's still doing something. Just waiting for it to finish doing whatever it's booting or whatever it's doing here. There's the screen. I'm guessing it's going to be getting some other info soon. First thing I checked is this is correct. It did come up to GMT, UTC. All right, some connection failed here. I don't know what this is supposed to be over here that failed. Let's see what else comes up. And there's the gray line map that comes with this also. This looks, um, looks pretty slick there. Um, Okay, the center of the map, I, I, I kind of like where it's centered. I, I, might, I may change it so it centers to where I am. So let's see if we can make those tweaks. I didn't have to do anything, actually. This uh, came up eventually. Gives you a nice sort of a generated virtual image of the sun with some sunspots. This is the x-ray number, sunspot cycle, or sunspot numbers here. Not too sure. I haven't figured out how to translate what's down in this part of the screen here yet. Of course, the clock is up here, and you get the gray line. I have to figure out how to get into the setup to move the center of the map so my QTH is in the center. I mean, I can work with it the way it is, but I want to figure that out. I also have to figure this out over here. I'm not sure what that means over there yet. I'll have to noodle around with it and see what I can find. But all in all, it is a pretty cool little display to have in your shack. Um, get some spot info here. Um, Although I'm not too sure if I've got this configured right. I think these are DX spots. I'm not sure. And it looks like it toggles back and forth. Um, so this over here, I don't know. This, I have to figure out what I'm looking at here. And, um, and what the, I have to translate this also. The, the bundle, I think, is pretty cool. The, the, the keyboard is this tiny little... It really is a tiny little keyboard that you really have to... If you've got big fingers like I do, you have to be real careful what you're doing with it. Um, and it's got its own battery, so you want to make sure you turn it off when you're done with it, and you'll have to recharge it uh, after a while. This is just a utility thing I'll have running in the background, and um, I think it's going to just add to the uh, add to the coolness of the shack. <laughs> How about that? Now I've got to find a place for the monitor. <laughs> I've moved it all into the shack now. Found a nice corner here to put this. So let me just zoom in on the screen a little bit. I played around with it too to try to get a sense for what does what. This is all your your data, all your info, local time, your call sign, the date, all that. This is your local, this is you, the, the day, the DE. This is you. This is your, your, your grid. This is your Latin longitudinal location, local time. That's what this is. Down here, you see this DX window here. This is information if you want to see like the lo local information for a DX station. So here's a JA2 call sign we're seeing on here. Um, let's see if we can get to them again. And just tap on it. Now you get that person's info. If you go down to this VK over here, you get that person's info. Um, so that, that's what these two windows do over here. This scrolls through that information, matches that up. And also, we'll scroll through the um, 
the D, D, not the DX cluster, but you can select whether it's WhisperNet or something like that that hears you or has spots on it. It'll, it'll come back to that. We'll come back to that in a second. This is all the solar data here. So here's your X-ray info. Here's a sunspot, like a virtual image of the sun. This is the NCDXF beacon network, and it tells you what beacons are on and where they are. That's what this tells you here. This keeps changing. Um, I haven't figured out if, if I can change what goes in this scroll like as, as it goes around. Um, I get some, you get the sunspot numbers, you'll get the spots on the whisper net, things like that. And of course, this is the, the map with the gray line on it. So, so that's the information I've been able to figure out so far with noodling with this. Now, I'm going to tell you something else. The resolution of this may not line up with your monitor. And if you can't adjust on your monitor, because this, this is a, a cheap little TV monitor thing, um, you have to exit out of the program in the, uh, in the little Quadra computer. And then you kind of that exit it entirely and restart it and tell it that you, you don't mind the borders on each side. Because mine, when I first moved it and it rebooted, it went off the screen. So I had to go through that a couple of times, figure that out, and then I told it, uh, yeah, I don't mind if it has the black borders on it. Now everything fits on the screen. So that, that's a little clunky. So that's the Innovato ham clock bundle uh, computer that you can get through, through Innovato. I'll put the link down below if you want to get one for yourself. And I hope this video may have um, sparked your interest in it or perhaps um, answered a few of your questions, <laughs> maybe created a few more, I don't know. Do you have one of these? If you do, and what am I doing wrong with it? Maybe you can help me translate some of these screens on it. Um, if you have any answers to some of my questions with it, then feel free to leave a, a comment and I'll uh, learn from you and, and hopefully uh, we, can, we can figure out how this thing works. It's not bad, it's a little clunky. It's not bad. Um, hey, for, for the price, it, it's, I think it's a handy little utility tool to have in your shack. It's got a lot of useful information in it and I'm sure there's more that it does. I just have to learn my way around and, and, and how it works. So if you like this video, I'd appreciate a like. And uh, also, I'd love to have you consider subscribing to my channel. That helps us with the algorithm. You, you heard it in all the other YouTube videos you watch. So I'm not going to go through that spiel again. Again, thanks for watching. 73 from K2 CJB.